Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We're going to look at quick clip versions in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, sometimes if you're working on uh, maybe a dramatic piece, something where you've got several different uh, camera angles or versions to go to, you want to be able to try those uh, quickly, especially if you've got someone looking over your shoulder and they want to try that version, that version, that version, that version. Well, you may have different ways of doing things, turning off different layers or maybe deleting and replacing. I'm going to show you the easiest way to flip between all of these versions and more, most importantly, and not have to change the timeline. If you've already got the timing done perfect, but you want to flip between these versions, this is how you do it. So I'm going to zoom into my timeline here. And at this point, I've got four different versions of reactions coming along right there. And you can see I've got them stacked up on top. What I've done with these is I've enabled only the top one and disabled the other. By default, they all look like this. They're all the same color and they're all enabled. And then the top one hides the next one, hides the next one, hides the next one, hides the bottom one. So I want to flip between all of these but not have to turn this off. Well, if you right click, there is an enable and if you select it, it disables a clip. Now by default, the keyboard shortcut wasn't set before. So if it's not set, you can set it up. Um, it might be shift command E on the Mac and not set up on Windows. I'll show you where that is. It's in the edit menu on Windows. It's in the uh, Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, keyboard shortcuts. And I just search for enable and I've got mine set to Shift E. So every time I, I press those keyboard shortcuts, it's gonna flip between these. Now, I've got four different versions that I wanna try. Instead of flipping between them, I'm going to disable all of them. So I'll select all three, Shift E, and you'll see that they're all dark now. I'll turn the top one on, Shift E. Now I can try that version. If I wanna try the version below that, I don't have to do two operations. I can select both of these, Shift E, and now it's disabled the top version and enabled the middle version. And then if we want to try number two, I select both of these, Shift E. It keeps the top one disabled because I didn't touch that one. It disables three and enables number two. Now I can try that version. If I want to now try number one, Hold these down, Shift E, and now I go between that one. So now I've got four different versions. And if I want to go back to the top one, Control Shift on Windows, Command Shift on the Mac, Shift E. And now you can see I'm enabling, disabling between those two. They don't have to be adjacent. They just have to be selected. Pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I was amazed at this. It's, it's something that my daughter, who's a film editor, and she's constantly working with, with uh, long format feature films where there's a number of different uh, opportunities, different takes. And for her, the enable disable is something she has all, she's using all the time. In fact, I'm going to leave a link in the description where she was recently featured at uh, Adobe on the Adobe Live session. They're very, very long where she talks about a whole web series that she edited uh, with D.W. Watterson. So you can check that out and uh, watch some of her amazing tips. All right, hopefully you found this informative. I know I did. <laughs> Thanks, Simone. Um, if you're new to Video Reveal, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us a little bit more, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and I'll be stealing my daughter's techniques and showing you how to get your stuff working great in Adobe Premiere.